Call it lifestyles of the rich and infamous. Mark Rich has been living large since skipping out of the US more than 20 years ago after being charged with tax evasion and running illegal oil deals with Iran. Now he's at the center of another scandal, the UN's oil for food fiasco. And once again, he doesn't want to face the music. Rich lives in virtual hiding on the beautiful shores of Lake Lucerne in Switzerland, where we travel to find him. Easier said than done. First, his spokesman refused an interview request. So neither you nor Mr. Rich is willing to simply answer any questions from the media? Then we drove to his huge pink mansion in the lakeside village of Megan, only to be chased off by Rich's private security. Next, we tried his office. This is where Rich runs his web of companies, including the ones allegedly involved in brokering dodgy deals with Saddam Hussein. Again, no luck. We waited outside the secret sliding door in the underground parking garage, where Rich's drivers and bodyguards hide his fleet of sleek cars. First, Rich's people called the police, who asked us not to show their faces as they checked our IDs and told us they had to protect Mr. Rich. Mark Rich is a VIP. But as we weren't breaking any law in trying to ask a VIP simple questions, the police moved on. Next, Rich brought in the building owners to throw us out. Like Rich, they didn't want to show their faces. All the time, Rich hid in his office before finally using a decoy car to sneak past us as a bodyguard blocked our view. Finally, Fox producer Per Carlson caught up with Mr. Rich's spokesman, Tom Fructig. For a spokesman, Mr. Fructig did very little speaking. Is Mr. Rich going to talk to us today? Why not? We just want to know what, you know, if he was involved in the Alter Food program. Why is he not talking to us, sir? What does he have to hide? Why can't he talk to us? Why can't he talk to us? Come on. What is he afraid of if he has nothing to hide? What is he afraid of? 